All right, good morning, everyone. Tuesday, 7.30, our class is about to start it. Um, I see a lot of people, I come, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'll go to the gyms and uh, some workout area, and I see people do some, a little bit crazy stuff, and I'm explaining why. So you might be doing this too. Um, I'm really warning about those exercises, so I'm trying to say do not do those exercises or those stretches, and I explain why. So the first one, let's start from our neck. I see a lot of people try to grab something and uh, hit the like head uh, across the arm and pull like so deep and get that ear almost close to this chest, uh, to, to the shoulder. The problem is the neck is designed to not do a lot of side, side bending. The micro sun size side bending, like a 30 degrees, it should be fine. But people try to get past this line, and what's happening with this, this is the neck, like I said, design of the vertebra is not allowed to do that. So basically what you do, you just jam on those artery and nerves, which has come from your cervical area. And sometimes people feel tingling and numbness. It's a different story. So you need to get the more space. You need to decompress. You don't need to jam and bend side to side. The next one I see a lot of people do, so also about our neck, what specific is. We have, it's called extension and flexion. We have rotation and slight side bending, right? This is our movements of the neck. So if you extend back and get some rotation, it's the same issue with this vertebra. You don't want to do that. You can do flexion and a little bit of rotation, uh, like a side to side, it should be fine. You also work on your joints, which is on the, in the top of your head, occipital joints. And uh, it's a good to lubricate those joints and also see how the head is a balance. So what we learn from the neck, we're not doing extension and rotation, and we're not doing that extreme side bending. We don't want to jam that. The next one, I see a lot of people do uh, decompress of the first rib. This is really advanced. At Technique. It's supposed to do physical therapist or manual therapist. When people put something like between the clavicle bone and try to push it with uh, with the barbell or some some specific stick, it's a lot of arteries up here. It's a triangle. It's a dangerous zone, and we don't want to do any like I said, non-professional person. You don't want to do that because. This is dangerous. Okay, so if you feel tingling, numbness, call those local therapists, physical therapists, manual therapists, and uh, you will find out in directory, like whatever, Google is going to help you <laughs> or AI is going to help you. Uh, the next one, it's a chest area. Chest area, I see a lot of people doing, uh, and trapezius area, a lot of people doing like the shrugging and kind of twisting. They kind of massage it it's really dangerous to do the shrug and rotate you can damage you can damage your muscle and usually what's happening you get this uh, elevator scapula which is move uh, elevate your scapula that muscle and it's uh, like really tricky muscle and create a lot of pain and discomfort in your neck people come in they like oh I can't move my head so if you shrug, just shrug straight up and down. You don't do anything. And the next one, the most of the time, our pecs muscle is get tight. And what's happening when your pecs muscle is tight, uh, the muscle in the back become weak. So if my muscles get bulky up here, they pull my shoulders inside, like rotate it in. And most of the time, you can see yourself in the mirror, so your hands, the fingers, the big thumbs is pointing out in a normal uh, pecs, let's say pecs tonicity and shoulder positioning, but most people is rotated in. Plus, this is the job, computer jobs, phones, all this get inside. So the pain created up here between your shoulder blades and what you do in here, and most even physical, uh, not the physical, personal trainer, they try to stretch this muscle and pull that scapula more towards the chest, towards the front. So this is the big mistake because you make that muscle weaker. But that's okay. We're all learning. Trust me. I learned this five, six years ago. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I was shocked too, like you probably right now. Do not try to stretch this muscle between your shoulder blades. Activate it with the bands. We do this good morning uh, 
morning exercise is called no money drill. So when you pull this uh, scapula together, we're going to do this today. Also, uh, stretch the band in front of yourself. Pull things close close to yourself. Like, you know, keep this elbow in. And that's, that's the key in this thoracic area. Mobilize it, but do not stretch those back muscles. Only in case if you walk like this. But I don't see anyone walking like this. Most of the time it's uh, forward, tilt forward. Next one, it's a lot of people I see uh, try to mobilize the knee. They're doing this kind of exercise. Let me just tell you, your knee is in pain because you probably have an ankle problem or your hips is not, uh, hip is not balanced too, not to balance and mobilize. So every time, if it's no direct damage to your knee, like someone not to kick you in the knee or shoot you in the knee or like, I don't know, hit you with a baseball bat, which is, was really popular in Russia back there in the 90s, uh, you find only the problem is your ankle or your hip. So you need to find this out. You need to go to the specialist, see those balancing your hips, see your ankle, and that's the solution. Also, a lot of people use the foam roller, and they roll those bony part. They roll this IT band muscle, and it's not going to do anything. Uh, it's probably, if you experience that stiffness, your glute is probably weak, your hip flexors is tight, and uh, maybe, maybe the tensor fascia lata muscle is also unbalanced. So, the idea is to learn what not to do, because a lot of people up there in the video, uh, like on YouTube channel, they show you something you're not supposed to do. It's all, we're all different. We're all different. Our uh, body is different. Our positioning is different. So you have to check with the specialist, uh, create this program for yourself, and do those exercises. Like I said, just it's always individual. It's always custom made. And when you learn about yourself, you can join those big groups and do those exercises. But like I said, our program is focused to recover and restore those motion. It's not like a lot of powerful exercise. So... The main rule of this class, no pain. All right, let's get back to the class. Let me get you some water. Um, we're going to do this sometimes, those educational part. Because we need it. Because when you educate it, you're not going to injure yourself. It's going to be less at least. And that's the goal. All right, let's find ourselves in sitting position. I'm usually sit down and cross leg. If you can, sit down on the couch bench and find the top of your head and just imagine a little strain attached to the top of your head and it's pulling you up. It's actually true. You, get, you have that strain. Sometimes people cut it off and, yeah, that's the, that's the other part of the story. Go ahead, pull yourself up. Squeeze your glutes, feel your spine positioning, and pull yourself more with inhale through your nose, extend everything forward, exhale, pull your muscle in, pull your core in, inhale, and exhale, feel good. Extend yourself. It's called Breath 360. The idea is activate all our breathing muscle. Our diaphragm, lung muscle, it's so many. The sides, abdominal muscle, even chest is working now. Some tricky muscle called serratus. It's right here on the side under your armpit. And it's two of them. One in the front, one in the back. How cool is that, huh? Pull your belly and extend all yourself forward. If you don't feel that, if it's hard for you, apply pressure, two pounds, with your arms. So you kind of like hugging yourself and inhale. Feel all those muscles. Exhale. Pull. The muscle in. Inhale. And exhale. Feels great.
Slide your hands on the side and feel those side muscles too. They call them external, internal, obliques. So, uh, also, latissimus dorsi. Such a cool name. It's a big muscle, huge in your back. But that's okay. We just need to activate it now. Feel those ribs too, pumping forward uh, onto the sides and forward. The side sleeper will find out the big difference between left and right. Because when you sleep on the side, the one side is get tense, the fascia is, co uh, fascia is contracted and hold this in kind of not movable position. This is how your body works. That's why this exercise is really important. Do this almost every day to correct yourself, to feel yourself, to connect to yourself. Extend and relax. Let's slide our hands up as usual. Get those forward of neck. Open this fascia up. Cross your two, uh, two thumbs together. Looks like a bird, eagle. Someone think it's a pigeon. Maybe a pigeon. So place this hands on the chest. Drop this elbow down. Lock it in. Push down. Inhale. Look up. Feel that pulling sensation. Exhale, tuck your chin. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Great, that's feel great. Release your hands. Let's do a little bit of uh, self-focus exercise. Let's go, usually go through the breath. We're going to do the square breath. We're going to count on four and breathe at this time. So that the time of the count of four, it's inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and inhale. So this is the square and count to four. Don't rush yourself. All right, I'm going to help you in the beginning. Let's inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two. Three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Now inhale and be on your own. Follow your count and breath. Try to stop this inside dialogue. All those thoughts, where are they coming from? What's this all about? Keep breathing, keep counted. Let's do one more cycle. And go back to the normal breath. Now our pinky finger is going to be for the left nostril and big thumb for the right nostril. We're going to lock it in, lock them in when we breathe. It's called pranayama. We're going to place your pinky on the left. We're going to e start ex inhale through our right. Place the pinky on the right nostril. Inhale through your right. Lock it and exhale through your left. Inhale through your left. Lock it and exhale through your right. Inhale through your right. Lock it and exhale through the left. 
Go ahead, be on your own. Go ahead, do a few more. Lower your arm down and sit still for a couple minutes. Just observe yourself. How do you feel? Feel your spine, feel your glutes. Find yourself in this space. Now start slowly turning your head left and right. See how your head and neck feel today. If you feel any restrictions, don't rush. Feels great. Now up and down. Look up and down. We already did this, but a couple more. All right. So what I find out when I turn to the left, I feel a little bit restrictions in my neck. We're going to apply a little bit neuro training. We're going to move our eyes, only our eyes. So turn to this left side, whatever side you are. Maybe you have a right one. So turn or restriction or you look up and restricted. Turn my left side. And now I'm look only to the left with my eyes without moving my neck. Look to the left. Now I'm looking to the right. Look to the left. Look to the right. Look to the left look to the right and it's really difficult for me to look to the right right now i can feel my eyes doing some tricky stuff now up and down up and down up and down up and down left right left right and the last one look to the left and start turning more and look at that <laughs> so go ahead write this in your comments below how's that feel is that something happened? Is this change to you? Is it change a lot or maybe a little bit? It's really important to know. My But my neck, look at this. It's turning without any problems now. All right? Now it's going to be our shoulders. Let's activate this heat. All we're going to do, just shrug our shoulders towards our ears. And let's feel great. Yeah, get this energy up. Shrug, shrug, shrug your shoulders. Remember, I told you don't twist it because a lot of people doing this, open this up, that's twist. And a lot of they come back and say, wow, my neck is hurt. Yes, because you twist. <laughs> Maybe a little bit pull and squeeze those shoulder blades. All right, couple more. And the last one is going to be pull everything up, squeeze, squeeze everything, pull your spine, feel that squeeze, that's glutes, pull, pull, pull yourself high, 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 and just drop your shoulder down. Keep, you see, my shoulder, this one is go slowly down. Interesting. So let it go. Here, thoracic area, move your chest forward and backward. Excellent. Move, move, move forward. So today it's going to be whole body thing. We're going to do a lot of rotation. 
down face dogs. It's going to be fun. All right, keep pulling. And the last one, push yourself forward, lock this in, make sure there was head, there was no bowing, pull towards yourself as well, lock those spine, oh, feel great, it's just pop, something pop in my chest, it's open up, that's the idea, so open this chest, squeeze those shoulder blades, great, next one, we're going to grab our band, and as I promise you, we're going to do this no money drill so hands inside the band you see and all you need to do just flip this band up okay get this elbow close to your body and all you do just stretch this band to the side if this is too much grab just the one strap of the long band and same thing get close to your fist and all you do is just stretch pull those shoulder blades together feels great feel this movements if you don't if you feel one is working, one is not, just take your time. Just always take the time. You will learn. You will teach your brain to reuse it again. Feels good. And relax. Let it go. That was great. Excellent. Next one, rotator cuff exercise. Grab the band like a suitcase. Just like that. Flip right behind your hand hold this in 90 90 position right in here all you going you see the band is right under my chest on the opposite on that side opposite arm is holding it and i'm just rotated in and down there we go big pop for me make sure it's no pain if it's pain go slow go breathe maybe turn your head away see if this is gonna help Always see how everything work together. Remember, the rotation of the head, uh, neck. No rota uh, rota extension and rotation. Switch side. Feel the other arm working that rotary cuff muscle. Here we go. Ooh, back, big pop. And another one. And see if this is going to go away. And it's not that anymore I'm lubricate my body before I go before I do my action motion is lotion get your body in the ocean of love self-care and be more happier feels great huh isn't it yeah my shoulders more open let's work on our side muscle Oh, raise yourself up, look up, get this right arm on the side, find the floor, walk a little bit, and lean. If you're sitting on the couch or bench, just kind of grab and lean to this right side and breathe, okay? If you're on the floor, enjoy this exercise. Breath. That's the solution up here. That's the key. Extend. Push yourself up, reach up, switch arms, left one on the side, drop this down, look up. Another pop for me. That's amazing. And push yourself up, reach up, and right hands come behind your right side. Turn around and look what's behind you. Do not turn your lumbar area, only your upper body. That was amazing. Turn to the opposite side. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Wow, everything was being adjusted. I feel more like open. My upper body is breathing now. Take me a little bit longer because it feels so good. 
All right, let's go ahead, lay down on our back. Make sure the long band is close to you. This time we're going to do a lot of rotation. Uh, this one is called a rolling exercise. We're going to teach our upper body and lower body work together. So go ahead, lay down all the way down. And your palms is down. Try to relax and feel your spine. Inhale, exhale. I feel a little rotation in my spine. How? Because I feel my left side is more leaning on the floor than my right. Here we go. I just feel this electric adjustment. And now I'm going to move my hips up and down towards my ear. So I'm doing this. I'm kind of drop my foot more deeper and move my hips. Working on that SI joint. Lubricate it. Up and down, up and down. Great. Couple more. And relax. Extend your arms and legs. Try to stretch and pull, decompress your spine. Now feel where is the tension is. Where is that pulling sensation? Is that on the right, on the left, both? Maybe it's no pulling sensation. This is the great and I feel this on the left, I'm going to massage this area. So I place my hands, both hands, apply two pounds pressure and kind of scoop up. We do this every day because I'm a slight slipper, you probably too. And this muscles become really hypertonicity, tight. Keep massaging. Don't forget to bow the other side. You'll be surprised how the other side feel. If you feel a very sensitive spot, you can stay longer after class and do, do the work. But you need to release that sensitive spots. Don't apply a lot of pressure. If you do feel pulsation, stop because you put, push on the artery. It's usually on the left side. Feels good. My spine is more flatter now. I feel more open hips now. And next one, we're going to bring our knee toward our butt and prepare ourselves for the bridge. So the distance between my foot and my butt is a little short. My arms is up. And all I'm going to do, just push my butt up and squeeze my glutes. Great exercise for the morning squeeze and pull yourself up squeeze and pull yourself up feel great if you want a more action grab the long band you see far away <laughs> and stretch in front of yourself let me get a little bit away from this flower squeeze and push yourself up Squeeze your glute. You can do single leg. If you feel strong, just try to extend one arm. You can place this arm up there, kind of walk, or just do one leg. I feel this in my hamstring. Be gentle. If you feel a lot of spasming, stop doing this exercise. But the single leg is more advanced. And let's see in this one. Here we go. But you can do it both. Keep going. This is great exercise. We're going to stay here a little bit longer. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the glutes. Great. Let's do a few more. And release, release the stance. Next one, you're going to drop one leg down, another one, stay in the air, stay in there, and just raise it up, 90-90. Now, we call this rolling exercise. We're going to teach our lower body and upper body roll without, without the other side. So kind of separate our body right in here. My arms in the, above my head, and all I do, just roll this knee towards this uh, left side without 
using my upper body without using my chest and this one is easy no problem I'm switch left one and here we go see a little bit more difficult mm. why because my hip is probably not balanced this way I probably walk my right is walk forward more like all the time so it's difficult for left to go forward that's okay I ret retrain reteach it and you see it's easy next one we're gonna do upper body this time you're gonna turn your neck your torso and your arm to the right without moving your lower back so lower back and foot and all you need to do just and touch the floor don't try to kick if it's impossible for you that's okay watch our video how to do this exercise with the help or with the bands next one try the left and you see the difference one yeah definitely this one is more complicated for this side Observe and learn about yourself. Good. You did really good. Next one, you're going to place this leg in 90-90 position and put the long band around this foot. It's called a square, and we're going to do star. I'll show you. All you do, just extend this leg and arm to the side and feel this tension. Activate your muscle. Hold, maybe. See how you feel it. Where is the tension? Balance it. Everything about balance. Great. In the next one, we're going to do star. You go all the way down, but don't touch the ground. And hold this position. Squeeze your glutes. Hold it. Hold, hold, hold. Two inches, three inches away from the floor. Feel that hip. Feel the shoulder. <sighs> breathe I feel this little shakiness in my left leg that's okay now drop your arm legs and arm down and you do the same thing like we did before rolling roll your right side up with the band It's gonna be more difficult <sighs> other arm is pushing down <sighs> feels great and really switch side Oof. Activate all those side muscles. Good. Return to the square. Release the band. And extend your arms and legs again. See how that feel. And the next one is going to be a little bit more advanced and core exercise. If you feel weak, maybe skip it. If you don't, extend your arms up and, and start roll yourself like a hollow rock. Let me readjust myself. I roll too far. And you just roll like a one piece. You like a wheel. Feel that core. And roll yourself up. Place your hands right behind your back. Now we're going to do Caesars. So we're going to do three rounds. And we're going to do, because we didn't do this for a long time, we're going to do this 30 seconds only. All right, extend your arms up. And all you're going to do, just shake them up and down. Doing good. Here we go. Up and down. Breathe. Almost there. A little bit more. And relax. Give yourself a little bit break. Grab some water. Next one, we're going to do cross legs. 
Yeah, it's going to be scissors this way. Horizontal or vertical. This one's vertical. Okay, get some back and we're good to go. 30 seconds. Side to side. Brace your core. Feels good. Halfway. Keep going. Almost there, four seconds. And let it go. Next one, you're gonna bring the knee towards your chest. It's gonna be like a bicycle, like you do bicycle. Take a breath, you see? It's hard to talk and do this exercise. All right, ready? Get back and knee towards and away. Try to shift those hips. Keep going. A little bit more. Five seconds. Woo, and relax. Go ahead, flip yourself on the belly. Place your hands on your forehead and start to do crocodile breath. Extend your belly with the breath against the floor. Push your belly up and down. Up and down. That feel great. Slide your hands on the side of your body. Prepare yourself for the cobra position. Your head is pointing down on the floor. I can't do it because the microphone. Now, all you're going to do is just raise your head up, your chest, your mid-back, and your lower back. You'll look up. If you're stuck somewhere, stay there. Don't go to this pain zone. And lower yourself down, back, lower back, mid-back, chest, and neck. So when you extend, you go from neck to lower back. When you flex your spine, you go from lower back to your neck. You teach extension and flexion of your spine. Some people ask me, taco on tuck to toes. This is tuck on tuck. Whatever you feel, whatever you need it. Try to both way. Feels great. Next one, extend your arms forward. Don't forget your the long band. Next one, we're gonna do this cobra with stretching band towards our uh, self. You can do towel, you can just do arms if you don't wanna stretch this band if it's too much, but go ahead and kinda raise yourself up and stretch this band towards your chest. <sighs> And relax, relax this band. Extend your arms forward. Place your palms down and kind of try to pull yourself forward. Decompress your spine. Yeah, so you're pulling yourself forward. Little click for me, I feel more space. This is amazing. This is just great. Try to push your butt towards the floor. And next one, your right arm is coming on the side of your body, 90 degrees with palm down. The other arm is come close to your chest like you do push-ups. And all you're gonna do, just twist this leg and put it behind you. Keep your head on the floor. Turn. 
get that slight little rotation in your lower back. We still need it. 30 degrees, your lumbar spine rotation, extension and flight of extension, sorry. And switch. I will show you on this side, side on the side, my ear on the floor, and all I just do step. I look this way. The microphone is there, I don't want to smash it, but your ear is on the floor and you feel this nice rotation. You feel that nice pulling. We're working on this kinetic line also. And return to the neutral position. And we're going to do our favorite swimmer. Before the swimmer, we're going to check our action. The idea is to do cross raise leg and arm. Let's start with the left and right. Left arm and right leg comes up. Hold and release. Do a couple times. See how that work. Great. Next exercise, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to si uh, pull it on the side. So I'll show it to you. And left and right. You see? Try to keep it low. Raise. Turn. Raise. Turn. Raise and turn. One more time. Raise and turn. Great. Now the right arm, left leg. And side. Raise. Side. Wow, this one is difficult. See, everything is... And return. And let's go. Go ahead, swimmer. Now, raise your arms and leg and start swim. Start swimming towards your goal, towards yourself, towards your health. Squeeze these glutes. That's the idea. And swim. You know, feel great. And a little bit more. Lower down, get your arms close to your chest. Go ahead and pull yourself up in this tabletop position. We did a lot of half kneeling and kneeling exercise. Let's just do our cat and cow and get up in our standing position. Okay? Inhale, drop your belly down, try to look up. Get your butt close to your head. And exhale, round like a cat. Pull your belly in. Suck it in. Feels good. Extend flex. Couple more. Here we go, pop. And relax, go to the neutral position. All we need to do is just, from this position, get your arms close to your knee. If you experience knee pain, stop. All you need to do, just push yourself with your arms and get in this deep squat. Make sure your back is straight, you're not rounded. If you are, put something under your heels, and if this help, you have an ankle problem. Go ahead, push this butt towards yourself, that pubis. Yeah, pull it forward. Squeeze that knee. Squeeze it together. The elbow is supported. Feel that nice whoo, pop. That's great. From this position, all you need to do is look straight and push yourself up. Squeeze your glutes. All right, you up. Let's go ahead and find our mini band. And we start because we did yesterday good hip work. Let's place this band all the way up just below our knee. 
we don't we skip the ankle and everything all right and this monster walk let's activate our glutes the idea is keep the band tight and just step with left and right load your body you see i'm loaded myself i'm not straight and i'm not walking like that robot from tesla i'm still human i can still bend feel that energy feel that heat side to side activate those glutes activate those glutes yes yeah, step side to side feels great you can also start stretch this band in front of yourself working on upper body and lower body at the same time squeeze that shoulder blades and you can work all different angles diagonally this way diagonally that way stretch in front of yourself you can turn your head activate all your muscle you're standing now the gravity is work differently on you that feel great, my core is feel great, my glutes is feel great. Everything is feel great. Need a little bit of work on my breath. Keep walking, keep, get those glutes. Stretch the band, no problem. Keep walking, keep loaded. I'm gonna be here a little bit longer. Yeah, from the top, but I'm always look forward. Feels great. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, glutes is burning now. If not, you're probably doing wrong or your band is too light. Switch the band. Great, next one. We're gonna stay in the middle. I mean, I'm staying in the middle for the camera, but you can stay wherever you want. Add this band, the long band. Step inside. Now, grab this band like a barbell, like you're holding something like a stick. Now flip this arm up with thumbs up and all you do just raise this arm 45 degrees. So not straight, not straight here, right in the middle. You don't need to raise too high. Just a little bit up in that clavicle area, right in here. We don't wanna go all the way up. It's not a position of the joint to do that. Great. Couple more. Try to keep your arms straight. And relax. That feel amazing. Next one, we're gonna work on our shoulder push press. Pull this bands close to your chest. You see I'm pulling. Now my elbow is coming inside. Just like that, you can do this fast and extend this about your head. All you do, just standing this position, and all you're gonna do, just return to the chest and push up. Drive your head forward. So you see my head is coming forward. I'm not doing this. I'm doing forward, extend. I jammed my shoulder blades, I feel that. <sighs> Feels great. And this is great exercise. If you're doing weightlifting, it's like a snatch. It's gonna create that nice understanding where the bar is. Okay, next one, we're going to, from this position, we're gonna extend all the way up and start doing rotation left. As far as possible, breathe, two breath. And return to neutral position, switch side, two breath. Return and do a little bit more often, one breath. Feels great, relax and shake yourself up. Next one is our favorite for the golfers. We're gonna work on our hip, all those kinetic line. Make sure you don't feel any shoulder pain and follow with your vision. 
with his arm. Okay, grab the top of the tip with your right arm and the midline, cover with your left. Oh, I'm looking actually in my video right now. Yeah, my black is like, woo. <laughs> no, that was good. Always record yourself uh, or a little close to the mirror so you see your posture, you see what you're doing. And grab the top of the band and turn to the right, raise your legs, I mean arms up, return to the midline, up, slowly down. You see I move with my vision, extend. If this is too much, change the band. If you experience pain, stop. And return. And switch side. Now left, cover it with the right. Return to the neutral position, release the band, and start do monster walk again. Get those glutes, get those glutes. I feel amazing, I feel strong. And guess what? You can stretch the band again. feels good and I don't know about you I feel warm I feel active I feel happy that's all I need <laughs> how small things need to be happy okay return to the neutral position remove your band and we can do a little bit of energy work grab some water if you need it Right. Thank you to joining us. That was great. Let's get back in sitting position. Close our class. Get this little bit of energy work. All this vibration around us. <sighs> Go ahead, close your eyes. Again, find that little strain attached top of your head and pull yourself up. See how you feel now? Squeeze your glutes, pull them towards that sitting, whatever you're sitting on. Squeeze. And now we're going to place our hands together, start creating this friction. You need to open your eyes and spread your arms, whatever distance you, you, you feel you need to. You can go all the way wide. Now, all you need to do is just start moving your arms up and down and see if you feel anything between them, if you feel some tingling. A little and kind of pulling sensation. You can try to squeeze and feel like an invisible wall or balloon. That's all good. Whatever your experience is. If you don't experience anything, it's also great. It's no right or wrong. It's all about right here, right now. Connect yourself more to yourself. Feel this <sighs> nice vibration because this is you vibrating those waves and I hope it's a high frequency not the low because everything is happening like in this world they try to get you to the low frequency as much as possible and hold you up there the low frequency it's a fear anger greed all those emotion all those things what's we're not supposed to have it 
And I know it's hard. It's hard to, to fight those things. But more connect to yourself, you will feel that more working on yourself. It's going to be easier and easier. All right. Now, see yourself for today. What's your goal? What you have to achieve? I'm already see myself. How I'm going to start this day? How I, what I'm going to do? And how I'm going to finish this day? And I hope it's going to happen. And uh, I ask Universe to help me out. And I also bow to you guys to joining this class to support us. And we'll see you on Thursday, 7.30. If you would like to join me tomorrow on 7.30 for Russian class on Russian language, you're welcome to do so. We'll learn a little bit of uh, Russian. Why not? <laughs> All right. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye.